So let us all discuss about the Special Marriage Act of 1954. Why this is in news? It is because the Supreme Court has rejected a writ petition which was seeking to withdraw or prohibit some of the provisions which were present in the Special Marriage Act. So what was there in this petition? It has asked the Supreme Court to strike down some of the provisions here that is from section 6 to section 10 in the Special Marriage Act because uh, they felt that it is violating article 21 of the constitution and article 14 and 15. As you all know article 14 is regarding equality before law and equal protection of laws and article 15 talks about prohibition of discrimination based on race, religion, caste, sex and place of birth. Okay. So, let us see why it is violating those articles. See, this, in the Special Marriage Act, there are some provisions, some sections which require the couples to, uh, to inform the marriage officer regarding their marriage. Okay, That is, Section 5 under the Special Marriage Act requires the couples who are getting married to bring it to the notice of the marriage officer. 30 days in prior to their marriage okay so i think this is not a problem but what some of them feel is at uh, the section 6 requires that such a notice should be entered in the notice book which is maintained by the marriage officer and this can be accessed by any person okay so that is why the petitioner feels that this is violating the privacy or it is a threat to the privacy and hence it is violating article 21 all right so and apart from this article 7 gives scope for uh, bringing an objection for the marriage so when you are talking about the special marriage act so there may there might be some instances where uh, any of the person who is getting married might be already be married so the other uh, it gives a scope for the person to bring an objection okay so there might be some cases where the person might be cheating the other whom is getting married or she is getting married okay so articles are section 8 talks about the procedure of making the objection okay so let us see why this is a problem and what are the challenges so before that i would like to mention that so whatever I am saying is not my opinion or the opinion of the academy that is the Believer Science Academy. It is the things which you have to analyze from what is happening in the society. Okay. So you might have seen some instances of you know, love jihad and some violent incidents when uh, couples are getting married from different religions. Okay. So it is actually common in India there is nothing to hide. If if a person, a boy from Hindu community and a girl from Muslim community is getting married, this is actually a very big deal in India. Okay, this is not, not a fact to hide. Okay, or or any different religion, Christian, Hindu, anything, it might be anything. Okay, so there are instances where some fringe elements or anti-social elements make use of religion to harass the couples. Okay, so this has happened earlier and it is happening even now so that is why the petitioner has, has felt that so this can be threatening to the couples because marriage of course is the choice of two individuals there is no uh, right for a third person to have any influence on the marriage okay and what is crazy here is there are many instances where the marriage officer himself or herself has gone ahead and informed about this marriage to their parents when uh, especially if it is uh, inter-caste or inter-religious marriages okay so there are instances like this so this personal laws like marriage divorce inheritance comes under concurrent list so both the state and the union have the right to make laws on it okay so let us see some of the examples. For example, Haryana government requires, it has some 16 prerequisites under which it has to issue this notice in a newspaper and such notices should be sent to their parents. 
so this government is acting parental no they call parental state so this is one such example and in certain states uh, so the couples actually need to get noc that is the no objection certificate from the parents itself okay and uh, in the maharashtra department of registration it openly uh, issues such notices on its website itself so this is actually threatening the privacy of the individuals who are getting married so that is why this petition was filed in the supreme court okay i hope this video will be helpful to you thank you